Got to start you with the obvious question about Jadevian Clowney. Mike Vrabel worked with him for four seasons when both were part of the Houston Texans. In your decision to pursue Clowney, how much of a factor was Vrabel's familiarity with his game? Yeah, I mean, I think any time that we're looking at, at players and, and determining um, whether we want to add them to our football team, certain certainly if, if a player has some 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 familiarity with a with a coach, and in this situation our head coach, that certainly bodes well in their favor. They know each other, they know the strengths and weaknesses, the coach of the player and the player of the coach, and, and it makes the decision process you know a, a little bit easier for us. Would you say that Clowney's versatility is one of his strong suits when it comes to what he's able to do? Yeah, I think that's, you know, that's what Mike did with him. Uh, and down in Houston, he, he moved him around a little bit. You know, he, he would line up at defensive end. He would line up sometimes inside on the guard. Sometimes he would try to knock one of those linemen out of the way and, and they would loop another defensive lineman behind him. So a, a lot of different ways. He's long, he's strong. He's an explosive player, he's a disruptive player. So we'll try to just mix him in with those guys in the front seven and try to create matchups that give us the most ad advantageous uh, situation. Any time is a good time to add a good football player, no doubt about it. But this defense, as Amy and I have been watching practice and we've, we've seen things come together, the defense seems to be getting more cohesive sort of week by week. What has jumped out to you about the defense's performance as we head toward the Denver game next Monday? Yeah, I think that that cohesion that you that you're alluding to um, is a direct impact from from the communication that I hear on the field. There's so much that goes on after that call comes in from the sideline. You know, formation that you've got to adjust to. There's a motion. There's a check. There's a call that you're going to play a technique a certain way. Our guys have uh, really got the chatter going out there during training camp. I think we're seeing the benefits of that communication so far. You added four-time Pro Bowler Steven Goskowski, which was one of the biggest free agent names on the market. What was the key to landing him? Well, I mean, Steve's made a lot of big kicks in this league. You know, as you alluded to, he's been to, he's been to Pro Bowls. He's kicked in pressure situations. He's click, kicked in inclement weather. But I think the familiarity that he said he had with Mike and, and then with me, and he knows the type of program that we're trying to run here in Tennessee. I mean, it's something that he wanted to be a part of. Let's talk about Ryan Tannehill. He's going to join us later for the Nissan Insider on Titans All Access. Is it possible that Ryan Tannehill has looked even more comfortable to you in this offense in 2020 already than he did even in his outstanding 2019? Well, I don't think we want any of our players to ever be comfortable, but he certainly is confident. You know, I think he's confident in Arthur, uh, in their relationship. He's confident in the players around them. He's confident in the system and the terminology. He's taken on even more leadership, voted a captain this week, which is a testament to him. But that confidence, you see it every day at practice. Finally, the Titans are getting ready to take on the Denver Broncos on Monday Night Football. And how much has their roster changed in the last 11 months since the team last went to Denver? Yeah, I think, you know, it starts with the quarterback. Uh, Drew Locke stepped in there for the last five games. He went 4-1 and one as a starter. He was undefeated at home, had a big win on the road at Houston late in the season. It starts with him, you know, when the, once they handed the reins to him. They added Melvin Gordon to couple with Lindsey there in the backfield. That's a pretty good tandem uh, of running backs. In the draft, they added, you know, a couple really explosive playmakers in Judy and, and Hamler at the receiver positions. So there's a lot of weapons on, on the offensive side of the football. Bradley Chubb will be back. They added Jarrell, uh, who, who we know, re they re-signed Shelby Harris. Uh, so that front is a pretty imposing front. Then they picked up A.J. Bouye via trade, and now he's paired with Kareem Jackson and Simmons there at safety to one of the better safety tandems uh, in the NFL. So a lot of explosiveness on offense, a lot of firepower on defense, and we'll certainly have to bring our A game on Monday.